this year's stock market sell-off has had investors wondering what they should be buying. Do you buy the stocks that have sold off the most? Or do bear markets typically mean it's time for another pocket of the market to outperform? Hi, I'm Liz LaProd, Senior Research Analyst with today's Advisor Takeaway. This year, it's been no secret that growth and specifically tech stocks have sold off more than value or say energy stocks. So there naturally has been a lot of conversation around what should I buy today and who leads once the market actually starts to rebound. Some analysts and investors believe that the growth area sold off too much, meaning they're at bargains and buyers are eventually going to come in and push that area of the market to rebound. Others, though, believe that a lot of those stocks sold off for a reason they might not rebound and that a shift in investor sentiment as well as the macroeconomic environment will push value and other pockets of the market outside growth and tech to lead when the market stabilizes. So I decided to take a look at what happened in past bear markets. First, I took bear markets starting in 1980 and said which file, value or growth was the best performer 12 months leading up to the initial 20% or more decline. And then I looked at who was the best for the 12 months following the date that the decline fully recovered. The results were a bit mixed. There really wasn't a consistent pattern. You saw a change in leaders in 2000, which was the tech bubble where growth was leading on the way in, but value led on the way out. And then you saw a similar thing in 2020. But for the 82, 87, and 08 bear markets, there was not a change in who led going into it and out of it. So then I decided to do the same analysis from peak to bottom. So who led the six and 12 months before a bear market peak? And who led from the bottom for the following six and 12 months? This showed a little bit more favor for a change in leadership with three out of five bear markets showing value lagging into the peak, but leading out of the rebound. Now, today's stock market shows growth leading into the peak. And so far when the market rebounds, growth seems to lead the way. That said, value is outperformed during this drawdown. So the jury really is still out for what we should expect when the market stabilizes this time around. But what I can say is that the data doesn't really strongly support one side or the other. So when you read headlines or are having conversations and someone is so sure, well, the data really isn't. Of course, there are many other factors in this analysis that I did not include, like you know interest rates or inflation. So as I continue my research, if I find anything interesting, I will be sure to update you all here. And that is it for me today. Talk to you all next week.